Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. Welcome to Olip. I'm Olip. Justin. I'm Cody. Hi, I'm Tim. Beautiful. The man Mike. with the hat. The man with the hat. Yeah, I know. It's the it, man it, with it, the hat. What? Yeah, you always wear a hat. What do you? What do you what? want? Okay, but like, I like I'm the only person who always wears a hat. You're like, the man with the hat. Like no Does one else on the planet the wears a fucking hat. A hat right now. Amongst us, it's you. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I do generally wear a hat, but I do not have one on tonight. I was careful to say amongst us instead of yeah. among us. You like that? Yeah. No. Mm. <laughs> Good. I don't. It wasn't for you. <laughs> like a, I don't like it hat at all. Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. Uh, other this... than amongst us, what's what's new? What have you guys been playing? Fortnite. Tim's playing something right now. Whoa! I'm playing? I am not Fortnite. playing anything. Fortnite, dude. Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite? is fun. It's is taken it a fun? long time to get there, but Fortnite is fun now. Is it fun for you because there's a no build okay. mode now? Yeah, that's a big part of it. <clears throat> that is okay. a huge part of what makes it fun, dude. Is I hated permanent? the building. Yeah, yeah, there's a permanent mode that's no building. And that's all me and the guys mm. play now. That's good. Yep. Yeah, I think maybe I should try it now that there's no building. <laughs> I would, yeah, dude. I, uh, I still haven't played Fortnite since they took away the, well, since they changed it. Oh, from being a normal like survival defense. It wasn't. Thing. It wasn't normal. It was. It was unique. It was different. It was. It was what you can still play the original game mode. I think, or yeah. you could. Yeah, there's, they still, may have there's, shut a, it down there's still that whole other mode. Yeah. Yeah. Save the world or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was that was the game, and now Fortnite is just like the battle royale. It's like. I don't know. I liked that because it was different. And then they're like, hey, Battle Royale. I'm like, oh, OK. Well, Car when it, cartoony Battle Royale. Yeah, like I, I understand how you feel. But when it prints money, I it, know you do it like you just there, I, I the, want... they looked at Nintendo and be like, they were like, is this is this how you do it? Is this how you just make money? <laughs> Doing yeah. nothing other than putting out the Listen, same fucking. Don't shit. don't give Nintendo any ideas. The, the next Splatoon will just be a battle royale. Oh brother! Actually, they have some weird. I don't, it's not battle royale, but weren't they coming out with an update for Sp Splatoon? Or they sh shut off Splatoon three or something like that, and it was like a multiplayer mode against a bunch of fucking. Uh... Oh Jesus! Christ. Are you thinking in in Splatoon two? There's like a horde mode where you kill fish. Yeah. Yeah, is, is it fish thinking? or is it like walrus? It's weird, like, like mutated fish field? creatures. Okay, yeah, okay, that's that is what weird I was mutated fish creatures. Yeah, that it was actually a, a really cool mode, but in classic Nintendo fashion, they fucked it up by having it time gated, so you could only play this mode during certain hours of the day. What? Why? Invents what? super fun game mode, restricts your ability to play it. <laughs> Uh, At point, Nintendo fucking things up like that is a feature, not a bug. But uh, I mean, it, it really is, yeah. Yeah, Fortnite. Uh, new season just dropped. Um, a lot of cool weapons swapped out, and you can tame boars and wolves and ride around on them. So my favorite moment was like me and the guys. We all had uh wolves that we mm -hmm. tamed, right? Bunch We're running of around on our wolves with our <laughs> guns, and we see this frozen banana player over the next hill and we're all like let's get him we all just like roll over there shooting at him and three other frozen bananas pop up and we just fucking circle them and mow them all down wipe their whole what? squad dude felt great like a pack of orcs pack yeah. of wolf riders orcs, what dude. the hell yeah. what fucking fever dream did you just describe to me <laughs> that is Fortnite. <laughs> just... yes that is... yes dude i was Fortnite. master chief yeah. my friends were all anime oh, girls oh. it was dope <laughs> I can't. That's exactly I the joy of Fortnite, dude. Master Chief with his waifus riding wolves fought frozen bananas. Right, exactly. So <laughs> we, we killed the, all of them. The, listen, that that was actually the original plot to Halo Infinite, but then oh they were like, God. nah, we gotta have Craig. <laughs> yeah, so you know, we killed all of them. Uh I as Master Chief jumped off my wolf and started doing the Gangnam style dance, and oh my God. it was awesome. I need you to record some of these clips. So you're really good at doing that. Just yeah, so I should get some from there. Nonsense. Yeah, like, give you a view into the Fortnite world. 
Yeah, I don't know if I want that. That li- it I literally know. sounds like LSD, dude. Like <laughs> what it's the nuts. Fuck? And like every season is different, right? Like last season, uh, one of my favorite wins was uh, you could get balloons, right? And you can use the balloons, and they'll like lift you into the air. And so it was like down to us and one other squad, and the ring was like getting smaller. And I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm going. I'm a, I'm the human UAV right now." So I use all my balloons, and I just like jump up into the air. I'm just like pinging where all the enemies are and just like taking pot shots while the other guys just like wipe them out. And that's how we won that match. It was awesome. Hey, Fever dream is the best way to describe all of this. This sounds <laughs> it doesn't even sound like a good trip. It just sounds like like you took like uh took took the wrong drugs and you just <laughs> haven't having the time of your life. Yeah, yeah that's I, that's I, it. I noticed Tim took off his glasses because now he's playing a game. I'm not playing a game. <laughs> oh? Oh? Uh, what did you play this week then, bud? I played Horizon Chase Turf. Oh, and, the racing game? Yep, and then I played some... I've been playing that a lot lately, actually, because um, it's one that's really easy to hop in and out of. Like, right. That's kind of the thing with me lately, is like, if it's super easy to hop in and out of, then I'm probably playing it a little bit like Soul Calibur, Mortal Kombat, Rise and Chase Turbo, something that I can do a race. I can do a quick ladder. I can do just something. I'm not sitting down trying to progress in something. So like I yeah. haven't played Elden Ring in like two months. Yeah. yeah I, I, I plan on rectifying mention, that tomorrow. I beat Elden Ring the other day. Nice. Oh, clocked like Sweet. 260 hours, level 160, I think. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> thorough it's it was fucked up because i had like the ability to do like almost any of the endings yeah but you know you can only yeah, do I one at a time multiple, yeah i did hear yeah. those multiple endings mm-hmm. so. yeah i mean I there's been the multiple endings one. to all of the souls games so like it makes mm-hmm. sense Tim, i don't beat games i just play them <laughs> i know but what i'm saying is i figured you at least knew that like you could you, depending on the cho- like choices Depending on the bosses you killed or didn't kill, the weapons that you got or didn't get, the NPCs you killed or didn't kill, like most FromSoft games will have a different end. No, actually, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, definitely a common thing with those games. Yep. Got that replayability. Yes, sir. Not that well, I've ever replayed a Dark Souls game. I, I have redoing it. I have only well, I've replayed Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1. I I still haven't finished Dark Souls 3. It's, it's, a, it's a shame. It's a stain on my record. Tim. Uh, but, like, the only one that I've actually played start to finish more than twice, more than four times, is Dark Souls. Yeah. Like, that's the only one that I go back to and play, like, start to finish. Repeat it. A, a so classic. Mm-hmm. Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, I don't think... What? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh, he got so Too excited. excited. He broke his fucking mic. <laughs> Speaking of Bloodborne, yeah. for me. Say again. Uh, yeah. Can Can you hear me now? Yeah. You're yeah, good. Okay. Okay. You're okay. Good. okay. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> he can you hear his me? Mic yes. And be right gets back. Up and walks away from it. Oh my goodness, dude. Classic Classic Tim. Classic Tim. Look what I got at work the other day. Oh god. I was at work the other day. Oh, you got the steel seal box? Oh not just the steel box. Not just the seal box. Somebody came in and traded in the fucking trilogy. Oh, oh. nice. Forgot so the that trilogy it. pack. Yeah, now I have it with the steel case for Xbox. Looks Fuck good. Sweet. Looks good. Yeah, it looks awesome. I've been trying to to find since I traded it the fuck in. Oh yeah. Like nine years ago, I've been trying to find a 360 copy of Dark Souls. Still yeah. can't find it, but at least I have the Xbox One copy of the remastered now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tim Tim got this new job and went. Now I have to rebuild my entire collection that I've Yo. sold. <laughs> yeah, because I get a discount. You're in the yeah. perfect position. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you. But speaking of games we can drop in and drop out, I won't spend too much time on this, but I have been playing Diablo Immortal. Um, I've played it both PC and mobile. I tried to get it onto the Steam Deck, but I'm running into issues just logging into Battle.net Ooh. kind of thing. 
but I feel like it's a fucking fantastic game for the Steam Deck. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, yeah, any kind of handheld. Screen. Well, not even, yeah, touch screen and then ah. Um, it also it has native the Android version even has native controller support. Yeah, yeah. Jez Corden hooked up his uh, Xbox controller too, and it had the UI. Nice. Yeah, with. no, I that's, I that's how you... I was. I've I've played it a bit just using my not Switch. This is my phone. People don't believe me. There can't put that on the Switch. Um, and yeah, it just straight up has controller support and like it plays okay, but like. Honestly, it just made me want to play Diablo 3. Mm. So yeah, it, it really is. It, it's like a... It's a lot like Diablo 3. And I can mm-hmm. see why people think that. Like They're like, I'm just going to go play Diablo 3. The, pro- the problem is, is like Diablo 3 is like done. So if you're looking for any kind of new content, you know what I mean? Like You can play Diablo Immortal. Problem is, and I'm not at the end game. I'm like level 31 or something. And from what I've been reading... The uh, mechanics, the loot box mechanics, really start pumping in at about level 35. So, and I was trying to hit it before the show today. Uh, I just didn't get time. But uh, um, have have you seen any of the stuff reporting? People did the math. How much money you have to spend to fully max out a character, and you can't just naturally do it. You can't just grind your way to a fully max out character. So I, I I know what you're talking about. I from what I've seen so far, I don't know if I believe that you can't fully grind and max out your character. I I know everybody's been reporting that, but like the only people who have maxed out characters at this point are people who paid money because it's been out for less than a week. You know what I mean? Like, so it's just like you can only get time. so many of the end game. Well, maybe they'll change this eventually. Yeah. Right now, naturally through the game, they limit the amount of the end game items you need to get to right. level up your your items and your character right. to max. So they have, yeah, they have these things called rifts, right? Yeah. So you go into the rift um, to get end game gear and stuff like that. But to get like to up your chances and stuff like that, they have these things called like legendary stones, and you can add up to three per run in these rifts, right? And then that really increases your chances, and that's what's monetized, right? Mm. Um, so I understand why people feel that way. I just don't, there's, I don't believe there's anybody that's maxed out their character or even had the opportunity to max out the character in the, you know, six days it's been out, you know, cause it came out on the second or the first or some shit like that. It's been out a week. So gamers do crazy, amazing things, but yeah. are we going to ignore the, the numbers though? Cause somebody did the math and the math was $110,000. Huh? Right, but that's one person and nobody's tried to dispute it. You know what I mean? Like nobody, yeah, exactly. nobody else has looked at it yet. So it's just you, like you would think that that if uh, if somebody was going to dispute it, dispute it, the uh, the dev lead for Diablo Immortal, who has been very active on Twitter and keeps defending his game, uh, would say something about it because he's definitely seen articles about it and has commented on it, but he hasn't disputed the numbers. Yeah, what is the what is the deal? Is it just like? make a new character start buying loot boxes and this is how much money it would take to max out basically yeah without playing it all no they would that's with also playing it but like to just fully max out your character Hmm. just like saying saying you're saying you're playing it normally but also also like you don't get you only get, I think it's like three of the legendary gems that you need for right. these rifts naturally. Beyond that, you have to buy them. Right. So in in order to like get enough stuff to fully max out your character, that's that's the money. I yeah, but is it? I guess his question is: Is that from level one to all the way maxed, or is that you played all as far as you could before you started spending money, and then you and then it could still cost one hundred ten thousand dollars on top of that? And that's and that's the problem, right? With like the, I'm not trying to defend Diablo Immortal. It's kind of ridiculous how much they monetize it, right? Every time you beat a boss, it hits you up. It's like, hey, one time chest. It's a dollar, uh. right? Like they, it, it's don't get me, it is heavily monetized. And I'll be I'll be frank. I spent like 16 bucks on it, right? Because I it gave me a couple things, and I was like, all right. I mean, if if I spent 16 dollars on this game, I'd be fine with it, right? Like it's not. I'm not gonna spend any more though. Like I don't. I don't know if I'll even put that much time into it, but it's a fun game. Like I have fun running around. It it plays well. You know, it it, it is Diablo. It's like Diablo three light though. It really right. is. So See, my, my, here's my problem with it. P- 
people like us are not gonna probably not not gonna no. spend that much money on it like right like like cody cody you're saying you spent like 16 bucks on it like yeah i spend money in warframe from time to time. that's fine right. like it's cool i don't have a problem with people spending money in their games but here's the 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 problem with it is the same problem that is with all of these games with these gotcha mechanics right. it's not us that it's going to negatively impact right. It's the people who are naturally get addicted to shit like this and naturally get addicted to sp spending that money and like kids. But I don't and... think anybody's arguing that that's not the problem, right? I think I right. my my only my real stance on it is just like there's a lot of really big numbers out there right now and whatnot, but there's no there hasn't been a single person who's even ha really had the opportunity to play all the way through it, right? And it's still a fun time in in general. Like I haven't. I haven't, I have a good time. I you sink an hour or two into it, right? Especially on the PC version. Uh, somebody, I read, I think it was Jez Corden, who's, who thought the PC version was garbage. I love the PC version. It's, it's fucking, it's super light, and you just jump in and jump out, and it's easy. And then, and then if you want, like Tim was talking about, you can run a rift or a boss fight or something in like 15 minutes, and it's easy, like drop in, drop out kind of thing. So there's some, I, I haven't put a ton of time into it. I've played like maybe an hour now. Yeah. And like, yeah, it is easy to just run in. Like I'm just in the beginning stages of the campaign. It's easy to get in, play for a little bit. Stop what I'm doing, go do something else. Right. Yeah. The difficulty of the game is very low, at least to start with. Like I haven't, so far, met yeah. yeah, I haven't met anything challenging yet, but I haven't hit that supposed wall that comes, you know what I mean? So, which I'm sure it will come when I don't when I stop getting like the legendary because he is right. That is what they monetize. They monetize the legendary gems or blocks of rock. I don't fucking know what they're called. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I know that they're purple. That's all I know. Yes. You know, they got like a purple purple face on it or whatever. So I, that's how I recognize them. But uh, yeah, it's a purple face on it. What is what is this Path of Exile now? <laughs> so yeah, it's you know this is a whole new way for them to do diablo right if right. you look at gotcha games it's like you don't expect to have like maxed out three star characters because it's a gotcha game you get whatever you get and you play with it so maybe that's where a lot of the dissonance is coming from is they're really oh, coming at this from such a different angle and people yeah. were not expecting it to be that harsh right. No, I think people, when they heard that it was a mobile game, that's exactly what they expected. People hoped that it wouldn't be. I, yeah, I think I, th I think we expected it to be this. I don't think there's a single person that heard, oh, yeah, uh, Activision Blizzard is making a mobile game and went, oh, that won't be monetized. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I, Overwatch had loot boxes for fuck's sake. Like, it was gonna, it was going to be overly monetized, point blank, period. I think people just ha had hope because it's Diablo that maybe right. it wouldn't be so bad. And it is. Yeah. And I'm like, if you really yeah. didn't think it was going to be that bad, eh, maybe you should have looked at it a little more I, realistically. I, I, I expected it to be a problem. It's still, like Cody was saying, the gameplay is still fun. It's still Diablo. Like, it's, it's enjoyable. I just worry about... I worry about if Logan were to go on my phone and start playing on it, and I have my, my credit card tied to my Google account, right. and he were to just spend a bunch of money. Not yeah, knowing man. what the fuck he was doing. Yeah. yeah. This is this I, is why this is why I have lock screens on my phone. But like, you yeah. know, there are people out there that don't that that's gonna right. happen to. Yeah, I mean, and, and yeah, like I said, that's not. I don't think anybody's arguing arguing that aspect of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know for a Diablo light game, especially mobile. Honestly, if they just would kept the loot boxes to cosmetics, because there is a lot of cosmetics you can get. If they would have kept it to that. It would probably be the best mobile game on the market because it plays it plays like Diablo. Like it's, this is it's from literally a man who really likes Genshin. Yeah, I did really. I really enjoyed Genshin because Genshin was basically Legend of Zelda with loot boxes. Is what mm -hmm. it was like. What it was or Breath of the Wild, I should say specifically. Yeah. That's what it felt like. So, um, but this runs really really well on the phone. Um, I, I mean, I, I didn't take a lunch break yesterday, so my break was like 15 minutes at work. I just like played some Diablo on my phone and it was a good time. Hell yeah. So yeah. We'll see how it turns out as we go. Maybe they'll get rid of their bullshit. Or, or they'll make it like this new D&D &D setting that they came out with where 
it's a setting where everything bad happens. Every <laughs> campaign ever that has ever come out for D&D ended in a failure. And so this is what the world is like now. Dude, I loved reading about this. Was it the Doomed Forgotten Realms, the Darkest Timeline? Yeah. Um, it's so cool because with 5th edition, they've been coming out with these campaign books one at a time, and they all kind of like feed into one another and like establish the timeline for D&D here. And, you know, it's like, okay, giants attack or whatever. Oh, some adventuring party goes and they fix everything. Next, here's some, like, undead bullshit. And the adventuring party goes and fixes everything. So this is if everything went wrong every time. (laughs) And this is the world that you're adventuring in now. I love that idea. That's so cool. You know, it's terrifying because, like, just... Think of some of like the end game creatures in D and D, like you know, Strahd and Soth and yeah, all these terrible things just running amok. Ooh. You know what it reminds me of? It's awesome. Warhammer Fantasy D and D because that's basically what it is. Everything <laughs> in Warhammer Fantasy, oh, nothing man. ever goes fully right. Fun Most- fact: it is not quite confirmed, but basically accepted. Pathfinder takes place in the Warhammer universe. What? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You didn't know that, or maybe, maybe not Pathfinder, not Pathfinder. Sorry, Hero well, I think Quest. It's Path- Pathfinder. Is it well, Pathfinder yeah. or Hero mm-hmm. Quest? I don't think but it's Pathfinder. They have a hero, they have a Hero Quest uh, Warhammer Fantasy game on your phone. Hmm. Yeah, no, no, Warhammer Quest. Quest, yeah. Yeah, like I knew that. I think Pathfinder does have ties to Warhammer, though. Hmm. It probably I does. I, read, I think I read that somewhere before. It probably is. I was I was thinking of Hero Quest. I said Pathfinder, but I was thinking gotcha. of Hero Quest. Yeah. Hey, look, Pathfinder's good too. Nobody's hating on Pathfinder. Oh, Pathfinder's Pathfinder's great. Yeah. Oh I don't know if it's on the dock. Are we gonna talk about the new game that uh did we talk about it last week? The new that Warhammer. The, uh, oh the Warhammer Rogue CRPG Trader and all that stuff. Yeah, did we talk oh, about that last week? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we mentioned yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, I'm very we don't, have, we don't have enough time for it today because we're gonna just gonna move right back on. Yeah. Spent way too much time on <laughs> Diablo, like I didn't want to, but we did anyways. Uh, um, so hey, uh, Sony just had their state of play the day after our show. Uh, thoughts, uh, favorite games, favorite not things to see. Uh, excited, not excited. You know what I mean. The kind of the g- gamut here, Justin. Stray, Stray, the cat game. Oh yes. yes, yes. What did you like about it? I like that you're a cat in like this robot world, and you're just wandering around yeah. doing cat shit. Yeah. So I didn't get a chance to watch it live. Crazy. I was, <laughs> I was literally watching it right before the show, and one of the notes I took is that. People have computer monitors for faces. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, it's like, they're not people. They're robots. It's yeah. Like Post human. There society. are no people. Yeah. 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 It, yeah. That's, that's really what it is. I didn't realize it at first, but that was one of the things that put. And then I also um, was, I, I was really interested that because there's like stealth elements, right? Where mm-hmm. you're like hiding in boxes and shit. And it's like, why are you hiding? Yeah, dude. Are they er- eradicating all living things? Is this Skynet personified? You know what I mean? Like, Maybe. There's some darkness here. Yeah. Well, they also had that scene with it was like the flesh bulb looking things on the wall and stuff like that. Yeah. There was like a lot going on that they did not explain. It's just left to your no. imagination. Yeah. So I'm very interested, but the thing that I thought was the most interesting about Stray in particular is that it is day and date for PS Plus Premium and Deluxe Extra. Ooh, that's a nice little it, title. Yeah, it's the first game, I, I, I think, I could be wrong, but I think it is the first game that they've announced that's going to come out on their new service kind of thing. Nice. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Did you, did you see you any thoughts about Stray, Tim? Uh, Stray looks vaguely interesting. I am more interested in Callisto Protocol. Yo, no, dude. Right. Uh, Dead Space, but better? Okay, I, I'm in. Dead, Dead Space, Space Remaster, I'm interested in, but it's EA, so I just watch them fucking it up. But Callisto Protocol is the original devs from Dead Space. Yes, dude. Yeah. So, like, if there was going to be a Dead Space 4, hey, here it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's not and Dead everything Space, but, but it's name. totally fucking Dead Space. Yeah. yeah. As soon as well, even, I saw that little like health bar looking thing on the back of the neck, I was like, "Hmm, this looks like <laughs> yeah. Dead Space." 
Or like I, even I, the guns, the sounds, the monsters, yeah. everything's just straight up dead space. Very, yeah, looks real good. Very man. similar. Yeah, I, I thought it was funny when I because I saw that trailer outside of the state of play on Twitter and I shared it and I was like, man, this looks great. It looks like dead space. And you guys were like, yeah, they're the dead. The original devs are making it. And I was like, whoa, oh, okay. That makes a lot of fucking sense yeah. of, of yeah. why it looks so similar. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited for that game. Also, um, Spider-Man PC is one super exciting because I haven't played Spider-Man yet. And two, gives me hope that someday I will actually get to play fucking Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe. Yeah, the PlayStation I sent you uh, ended up being a dud for so many years, unfortunately. Yeah. So, uh, it, it's yeah. how, it just, for whatever reason, the hard drive won't register with it. Like, And I tried putting a new hard drive in to install um, PlayStation like OS on it. No. Yeah. But... It just won't, it won't recognize that there is a hard drive in there. It's like, okay, well, Sad times. Sad times. Like like Justin says, I'm out. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Any other thing that really stood out to you guys? Uh yeah, Street Fighter Six. It's oh, gonna be butt some physics. like <laughs> butt physics. <laughs> butt physics. Uh that's not the yeah. thing that stuck out to me the most, but uh definitely Are butt you physics. Sure? Um <laughs> There's also like some open world elements where you're like running around with your character doing shit. And it seemed like, yeah. are you making a character in this one? Is it a character creator? It yeah. So- kind of looked like, you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of um, Conquest Mode from Mortal Kombat. Was that Deception? I think it was Deception. It was either uh, Deception or Deadly Alliance. I want to say Deception. I think it was Deception. Yeah. I should know, know this. Yeah, I definitely got that kind of vibe too. Like you're running yeah, around, yeah. there are all these characters, and then it's you doing your thing. Yeah, yeah. I, well, and it it kind of seemed like watching the watching the trailer that they kind of went out of their way to make the character like the guy that they're running around with seem super nondescript because he was wearing a, a like a hoodie, right? And like uh fucking joggers or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so you didn't see any like description or, of these characters. Yeah, um, like so. I'm not super familiar with Street Fighter, but like I know a lot of the cast, and I didn't recognize that guy. So mm. yeah, I but, now I haven't played Street Fighter since four. Um, they don't have created characters. No, 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 that's not what I was gonna ask. I didn't uh, see Ken. Uh, yeah, no. I think. I want to say Ken's confirmed, and he looks like he's down in the dumps or something. I saw some like memes about it. Poor Ken. Oh. Okay, but Ken is in. Okay, that's all I, I needed to so. know. Cause, like I didn't, I haven't seen him yet, and I'm like, Ken and Ryu are like the guys. Yeah, you know, like going back to Street Fighter, the original. Like they're the only two that anybody gave a shit about. Yeah. <laughs> How are you gonna so, fucking disrespect Blanca like that, dude? Holy shit! Listen, Blanca. Blanca's Blanca. In Blanca is something else. I uh, is Vega in this one? I didn't see Vega. Maybe that's the character that you're playing as. Oh, without maybe. the mask, it's kind of got that long hair. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other cool thing about Street Fighter Six is uh, when you go to like do a match with someone. It like shows your dudes like walking up. It's got a whole cool like underground pipe uh, fight pit kind of aesthetic going on, like actual street mm-hmm. fighting, and yeah, uh, underground pipe. <laughs> Whoa, crack shit going Whoa. on. What's going on here? <laughs> um, but uh, there's a moment before the fight begins where it's just like each of your character's faces on the screen, and you can do button inputs to like make different facial expressions. And all I could think of was like Super Mario 64 where you've got Mario's face and you're just like pulling his lips down and like doing stupid shit with his face. <laughs> it's like, yo, that is a great addition to Street Fighter. I love that. Just some, yeah. something to fuck around with for a second before the fight starts. You know, uh, I, I would be more like I think I do think that's cool. Don't get me wrong. But I think that was it'd be a lot cooler if there was such things as loading screens these days. Because on these playing... newer consoles, man, it's like like immediately. Yeah. You know, I was playing so Soul Calibur 2 that. earlier, and like one thing that I didn't realize, I don't know which, because I played every Soul Calibur. I don't know which one they took it out, but like I remember in Soul Calibur 2, and like you can still do it on the Xbox 360 version that I was playing on my Series S earlier. Um, during the loading screen, if you press a button, you can get them to say shit. 
Oh, like, shit. For whatever reason, Nightmare almost always says, not yet, yes, whenever you're dude. fucking doing it. But, like, that's not a thing anymore. Soul Calibur Six, that's not a thing. And I'm like... That is so sad. I kind of miss that. I shouldn't yeah. miss that. That was stupid. <laughs> stupid but I kind of miss it. The nostalgia well, I, for it. Yeah, yeah, well, I think it's Budokai Ten, Tenchaichi 3, the Dragon Ball game or whatever, mm-hmm. that had, like, another mini game like that where you were, like, beating up the little fucking... Uh, little green, what are they called? Cybermen. Cybermen, yeah. You're like beating them up or something like that. While it loaded. Like mini- yeah, while it loaded, <laughs> while you're waiting for your fight to load. They had some little mini game or whatever that you could play. Oh, and yeah. then there was another one. It was like, it was like mash a, a button and to see how many fucking rice bowls Goku could eat before the fight. <laughs> or really, he's just like, he's just like eating them. Like, oh my gosh. So, yeah. So yeah, much, good stuff. a lot of respect for the devs who acknowledge, like, yeah, loading screens suck. Here's something yeah. to do while it loads. <laughs> yeah. Here's something to do to break your fucking controller while it loads. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what those were. It was just butt mashing like crazy. God. Um, anything else that stood out to y'all? I got I got a couple different ones, but uh, you want to crack into Final Fantasy? Uh, before we do Final Fantasy, I don't want to ignore how they came swinging heavy with the fucking VR. Oh yeah. Uh, the VR man, like. I know I'm the only one with the VR headset, but I know, Justin, you've had one in the past. Yeah. Um, fucking Saints and Sinners sequel, or whatever, that's a huge deal for The Walking Dead, because oh, the, yeah. Dead, the Walking Dead game that's on there right now is, like, one of the highest rated games across every VR platform, like, ever. Oh, wow. Like, it's super good, apparently. I haven't played it, because I'm a pansy, and I don't really have the space for it, so, but I don't need zombies actually running at my face. I'm oh, going to scream God. like a little girl. Um, and then Horizon Call of the Mountain. I was like, is this Avatar with robots? Like, yeah, dude. It like the vibes were great. It and looked so really I, good. Yeah. So I was super impressed with their VR that they're coming out with. Um, and they put that front and center at the beginning of the show right after Resident Evil 4, which I. Uh, Resi for a remake. Eh. I, here's my thing. Like, are they just going to remake all of Resident Evil now? Like, because well, they've rebooted Resident uh, Evil. Technically. They've already pretty much have. <laughs> Once they do, like four. they're already four parts in. Like I don't know. Are are they? Did they, I don't? Did they reboot one and two? Did they remake yeah. one and? Two? Yeah, they did remasters. Yeah. Of them, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. they did remasters the whole... of one, two, three, and four. And from two, three, two and three, they ch- slightly changed the story. One, I don't think they did. I don't remember them no. changing anything about one. But like they did for like for two and three. Oh. And then um. Once they yeah, do four, sure. they don't need to do any more because the rest weren't good. Okay, yeah, six was I, garbage. Before we get too far away from VR, how, why, why, why did they have Resident Evil VR with Lady Demetrescu? Oh. There's going to be so much fucking porn of you that character now. Why? Going to like, be. Hang on. Like, like, hang on. You know why. <laughs> ask why because they want because they want to like i i was like oh my god like that it looks good as shit don't get me wrong it looks really good but at the same time all i could think about and and uh uh, and skillop's weekly roundup he brought it up he was just like you know talking about how gamers are really gonna enjoy a full full full-bodied vr lady dimitrescu like and she's in the game for all of like 30 minutes not too long spoilers spoilers but that's not the point, Cody. But, uh, uh, no, you the know, point is that you cherish field? those 30 minutes, damn it. <laughs> Resident Evil 7 and 8, though, those are the perfect yeah. Resident Evil games to have VR because they have such cool... They make such good use of the first-person perspective. Yeah. 7 already, I think, has PSVR support. Yeah. So it's cool that 8's getting it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I wonder if we'll see like a simultaneous like VR and standard launch at some point. Horror games are the perfect thing for VR. I've always thought that. Like, I really, I don't want to, but I really kind of want to re-experience Alien Isolation, but in VR. Or at last, but in VR. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, Alien Isolation Um, sucked enough, but I kind of want to play through it again with a VR headset strapped to my face and just just kind of see... <laughs> How much worse could it be? Oh God, it's so much worse. 
<laughs> yeah. So much worse. You, you thought it was what'd you call it? The BBC of of uh, something? Of murder? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Uh dude, that's one of your best clips ever. I'm never gonna fucking forget Classic. that because it was so good. It was fucking it was, it was, it was, it was so good. good it was good times. Uh uh Cody, did you want to talk about the roller skating game? Oh yeah. Fucking uh so real quick, roller dome. Uh Tony Hawk with guns, roller give me drone. more. <laughs> Is it? Oh is yes, it, yes. A R. Jerome. Is there? Is Jerome. there? Jerome. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I glance at it because I'm trying to. What write is a Jerome? It. No idea. But yeah. it's it's roller. It's drone. an eighty Thank sounding you. thing. Okay. It, it definitely is well, an eighty sound. Either way, no matter what the title is, Tony Hawk's with gun. Tony Hawk pro skater with guns. I'm all about it. Um, <laughs> That is a very think, apt description yeah, as well. I, mean, I think I think I stole that from Skillet, but I mean it, you 100 percent did. I wasn't yeah, gonna call you out on it, but yeah, you absolutely no, did. Yeah. Anyone who played Tony Hawk would have the same thought. Yeah, like I hadn't seen it yet, and then I, uh, like I said, I watched his roundup or whatever, and I do think that's what he said about it. Um, the anime game, like Scarlet Nexus, combat mm-hmm. looks really cool. Really, I don't know how I feel about putting a dating sim with an action game, but here we are. Uh, I'll probably try it because I'm the one who tries all the anime nonsense. Rate trigger to hold hands. Yeah, I QTE. thought that was weird. Ah, I thought that was weird. Like, that's a little bit. Yeah, it looks like a weird yeah, mashup. It, it's it's cringy. The, well, the combat looks cool. Yeah. yeah, I thought the combat looked decent. It looks like it needs to be polished up a little bit right now or whatever from the trailer. But the combat looks a lot like Scarlet Nexus. That's what it made me think of. And that's why I was talking about it while I was watching it. And then, and then all of a sudden, yeah, it was like R two to hold hands. I was like, what? <laughs> and then, and then at the end end of it, they literally said, "Action sim and dating sims worlds collide." I was like, oh my god! I was like, what is happening? Why not just throw yeah. two genres together? See what happens. Well, they want to give you that's that's the thing. They, they want to give you the full uh, anime experience now. Oh, Steam is crashing. Good, oh. great, grand. It's always a good time. Like. I I wasn't even it wasn't even my active window and it just flashed to it and says not responding. I'm like, <laughs> okay. thank <Hi>. you, <laughs> thanks for letting me know. Um, the only other thing, Steam's like me- I'm having a stroke. <laughs> oh <my laughs> <God>. Okay, <laughs> what the Holy fuck shit. was that? Where did that come from? <laughs> Why? What do, you, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were beyond it, and then you swooped in with that. <laughs> with that, with the oh facial animation and everything. <laughs> like, listen, what? animation? Did great. somebody yes. draw me? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um. All right. Oh. Tunic's coming to PlayStation on September twenty mm. seventh. Um, I, I tried inter- Tunic. It uh, yeah, it's, like it? I didn't like it at all. I think I missed something. Oh. Like, I never got my shield, and uh, just felt like shit. Well, they do say it's Dark Souls with Zelda, basically. And I skipped the entire combat tutorial of Elder uh, Elden Elden Ring. Ring. Yeah. Yeah. And then I also had to have you guys teach me how to fucking level up. So probably 100% missed something. Yeah. Welcome to my world, Justin. It's awful here. Of not, of not being Cody, who has Souls played mode. almost every Souls like that exists, and has played at least every single Dark Souls, then plays Elden Ring and goes, "How the fuck do I level up again? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Bonfire." To be fair, the fuck's that? It wasn't just the bonfire. You had to go to a His specific bonfire. No, show I know. For this girl to come I'm fuck your dick, you give level you a up. hard time. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> how, is, Don't you know that's how you level up in real life? Oh man, such grace. Why? <sighs> yeah. Anyways, uh, they also showed off a story game, um, which had a. Uh, it kind of reminded me of a. Uh, uh, I'm blanking the name now. It's a really popular story game. Just had the remaster re- recently. Um, it's very popular on Xbox. Hmm. Uh, oh, story Life game. Strange. Life is strange. Yes. It I still me don't Life... know what game you're talking about, but like I know well, you. The you game, were the talking game. about Life game is called seasons and then it has like a subtitle oh that game that yeah. doesn't remind me of life life is strange at all i don't get that vibe uh, well I, i'm talking about from like a story perspective obviously you're not gonna be fucking like traveling through time and shit or at least i don't think so but they had like air raid sirens and shit in it um which i think means it's just like a little bit more underlying there than just there's some darkness a a field yeah you know like yeah that so, game looked interesting like aesthetically like i liked yeah. the whole visual style that it was going for it's kind of like uh pastel and like very uh toned down sable 
Yeah, like Sable. Yes, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, that game's beautiful too. Yeah. That's what the roller drum game, like that's yeah. art style, really reminds yeah. me of Sable. That kind of uh not necessarily cell shaded, but kind of that. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's called. Um it, anyways, Looks uh good. and then yeah, it does. And then Final Fantasy sixteen. Um this is my question, and I wanted to ask Justin this before the show started, but it's better to ask now. Final Fantasy 16 looks dope as fuck, yes. but is it all a lie? Because I know Final Fantasy 15 did it away with like the turn-based combat, and everybody hated it. You're the only person I know that played it, but apparently all you played was photo mode. Yeah, I so. played it, and I also <laughs> hated a lot of it. So the worst thing about Final Fantasy 15, One of the worst things about Final Fantasy 15 was the combat. Because oh everything just felt like a fucking damage sponge. And like, throughout the entire game, I felt like I was playing it wrong or doing something wrong. Because the combat just never clicked with me. And hopefully that's not the case for 16. Uh, they didn't show a lot of the gameplay nitty gritty. Uh, we saw some damage numbers popping up. We saw some beautiful, like, it looked like the combat was like very cinematic and cool looking. But um, very without, Devil May Cry looking. Yeah, yeah definitely big I... action. Um, but we we just don't know yet if it's going to actually feel good to do the combat. Right. Um, yeah. I hope it does. Uh, I'm curious to see if it's going to do like the Final Fantasy VII thing at all with the remake, where it was like that mix of like you've got your real time action, but also you can kind of like slow things down and like issue commands or what exactly they're going for um i just had this thought i really hope they have some side character to show up out of nowhere and just go chaos and then just fucking leave oh my there God. was a dude in the trailer there was like a he looked like he was supposed to be bigger than everyone else but he looked almost exactly like the main character from stranger of paradise like it was like almost the same character but they hulked him up i was like uh <laughs> Okay, it looked like the same I'm damn character model. Chaos. Yeah, I kept like expecting him to say that. Well, like in, in the trailer, he just like put his hand on somebody's uh shoulder and like pushed them down, and then you saw him next to a door. And I kept expecting that guy to say exactly that, like, I'm here to kill chaos. I was like, what? okay. What did you you just push somebody down by their shoulder? Like what? Yeah, like they're they're all like sitting around yeah. like a Rude big ass table else. and he like just like grabs somebody by the shoulder and like is like is like sit back down and then yeah, they just show him by a door a couple seconds later. I don't fucking know. Yeah, dude. Okay. I'm excited for it. Uh I love that they're going back to their like medieval fantasy roots. Um yep. I also like what they're doing with the summons, where the summons are like inherently tied to individual people. And that seems to be one of the, like the main focus points of like the wars in this world. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I hope it I hope it's good because it looks fantastic. It really does. Um, I agree with crossing your fingers. All right, we're gonna make this kind of really quick. Let's What's the number one game you'd want to see at the Xbox showcase this weekend? <sighs> number one game. Number one game that That's I want hard. to see. That you want to see. Quake. Fable. Really? I wanted to see Quake at QuakeCon last year, and I think that it's somewhat realistic that we could get a Quake announcement because supposedly it's working on it and has been working on it. So, yeah. and that... when did Eternal come out? 2018? Do we tell Maybe? Was 20, it 2018? Yeah, 2018, 2019. That sounds right. So I, I'm not saying that we're going to see gameplay, but I would I would not be surprised to see a Quake announcement. Um, do I hope would I love for there to be a Fallout Three remake announcement? Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Fable, I don't think we're close to Fable, so I don't think we'll see yeah, anything. Yeah, we haven't seen Elder, anything. Elder Scrolls Six, I don't think we're going to see anything on. Uh, I mean, we're going to see Starfield, so like I'm not even counting that because I'm excited to see that. Yeah. Doom Eternal came out in 2020. So far, still It'll we're be, two years. Steam. At least on Steam. I don't know if it, yeah. I can't remember. If it, came it, out. it was it was day one released on Steam and Xbox and everywhere. Okay. So I like yeah, yeah, it, yeah. So um, yeah, two years. I still think we could realistically see an announced trailer. You, I, I'm not saying you're gonna see gameplay, but maybe a right, CGI right. trailer. I don't. Yeah. I, so hold on, Justin. You said Fable. Yeah. 
anything particular. You just want to see more. Is I just want to see one? something in the Fable IP. I just want to see what that game is going to look like. Give me more than that, like little fairy animation that they showed. Yeah, I I think I I agree with you, but I don't think we will. They just released Forza. You know what I mean? Like the new one. Mm-hmm. And stuff. Yeah. I think I think they're kind of Slowly, transitioning. Yeah. I, I think that I think that. I think they have had people on it, but they're probably starting to transition the whole team because I yeah. what, before they came out in what November, something like that. Mm, sounds yeah. right. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, um, for me, it's going to be avowed. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready for more, just because I love Pillars of Eternity. Oh, right, I haven't beaten either one of them. Right, uh, I have. I've barely even dipped my toe in the Dead Fire, but I played a lot of the first one. And I had I, it's a good time. It's a cool world. Um, you're you're gonna give me Elder Scrolls Pillars Pillars of Eternity, fucking yeah. Let's do it. Like, also, if it could somehow come out this year at the beginning of next year, like hype me up more. You know what I mean? That's kind of where I'm at. I forgot yeah, see, about that in, game. That looks in, in my brain, like I'm counting on seeing Avowed. I'm counting on seeing Starfield. I'm counting on seeing Redfall. So those aren't even like. What do I want to see? Like, we're going to see those. Like, yeah, I want to see all those. Right. Um, but well, I'm, I'm more thinking, gonna... like, yeah, we, we assume we'll see those. I, yeah. I assume we'll, we might see something on uh, Outer Worlds 2. Um, yeah. Because that was announced, what, Game Awards last, or Game Fest last year? The same Game Awards is about. Yeah. So, like, I, I assume that we'll see all that, but uh, I hope we see Outer Worlds 2. I really want to see. And it's soft quake because like it's quake is quake is if they can do for quake what they did for doom yeah that'd be I hear you. yeah i hear you yeah i just it's just most excited game that you want to see and i mean if that's quake that's fine um but yeah just kind of in general oh, if it's mo- if it's what i would I, what i would be most excited to see fallout 3 remaster <laughs> or like oh, yeah. fallout new vegas 2 announcement shadow mm, drop an announcement oh, on that brother. because yeah. you know that's rumored that those that obsidian and bethesda are starting to be buddy buddy again and that would Ooh. um okay so then here's a follow-up question that i didn't think i was gonna ask i'm gonna ask it now what do you think is the craziest thing that we're gonna see the xbox showcase like shadow drop a game that's gonna be available that day or like a weird update or a weird game that's coming to game pass that you wouldn't expect Something like that. Hmm. Craziest thing Xbox could do. Craziest thing they could do or craziest thing we actually think we'll see? You'll actually think you'll see. Not that they could okay. do. Because okay. that's, that's, that's too many possibilities. That's like Dr. Strange. Because like, craziest Dr. thing they could do, Spider-Man PC Game Pass. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but like, that'd be something. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Justin? Uh, Xbox uh, puts all Halo Infinite development on hiatus and gets their house in order. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they'll do that, but I, I see. I see why you say that because they're having they're still struggling and stuff like that. Um, did you think of anything, Tim? I had something. And I lost. I'm it. still thinking. <laughs> You you I had something did, and then you lost it. I was the yeah, MVP. Was, um, okay. Threw me off with the Halo thing. I was like, oh, that. Space Marine Two Day One Game Pass. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that would be bomb as fuck. I would that would like be bomb as that. fuck. I actually think that that is not unrealistic because, um, I mean, Xbox has the money. Space yeah. Marine, as much as it's a hype title, like it's not like Xbox has a bad relationship with that studio. They have a very good relationship with that studio. So I could I could see that happening. I don't know that it will, but it would be amazing. Mm-hmm. And it would yeah. save me money. So Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say this would be the thing that I, I, I would like to see, and I do think it's realistic with the delay to Starfield. Uh Hogwarts Legacy day and date. I think that would I think that kind of gives them a, a, a decent sized game for that window kind of thing, because right now they don't have anything. Right. I think you'd mm-hmm. be more likely to see Gotham. Or, yeah, Gotham Knights. Because mm. well, of WB. Because of WB and because. Um, so this is a take I'm stealing from Mr. Matty Place. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Xbox does have a habit 
of when a game is getting a lot of negative publicity, negative press, they kind of swoop in and go, hey, buddy. <laughs> and they, <laughs> they, they give it a shot. And I could definitely see Warner going, okay, yeah, Damo Game Pass. We don't think it's going to sell very well at this point. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, 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 I get that. I think it's a fair take, but I don't, um, I don't think that's a big enough game, personally. Gotham like, Knights? No, because I'm going to be honest, I hadn't heard about that game, and I don't know how long until Mr. Matty Plays talk about it in his video. Seriously? Like, yeah. I hadn't heard about the game in a long time, and I was like, oh, well, there's probably a reason for that. Which, it, to be fair, to be fair it makes it a complete, even better candidate for Game Pass. But um, I just I think Hogwarts Legacy would draw more people, right? Because all the people that are adults these they're days, Warner, so yeah, all the people that are adults these days though grew up with that shit, and now they're making an open world version of fucking Harry Potter. They just draws more people. But anyways, all right, yo, we're gonna... Sonny in the chat. Oh, Holy crap! I swear, Justin oh. has a magical face. Wasn't it too long that he was a baby face, and now facial hair has grown? That yeah. is correct. That's how facial hair works, by the way. When you shave it, it grows back. Sonny, you need to go back two weeks, three weeks now, and it was completely shaved off, and I about cried myself to sleep that night. I did cry myself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, another crazy thing that I expect to see is gold. Like, gold and I. I've heard some rumors ooh, about that. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh, I uh, it's not in the doc, but like um the achievement like art and everything the achievements are all like it all leaked it all got data leaked so like it's all in the system for xbox so i i almost expect them to do like one of those sneak announcements like golden eye blah 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 blah, and available now and it's just the 360 the 360 version that was supposed to come out that never came out Hmm. um and i i do kind of anticipate that we know io interactive is working on a james bond game so i think that they'll like do like a cgi trailer for that and then also be like also available today you could play goldeneye on switch and xbox hey (laughs) that'd be fun i'd be down for that that'd be interesting yeah okay all right last time i played goldeneye it was with at shane's house and it was with a damn it was with an on N64 yes, N64 controller dude. and I forgot how much I hate I the N64 controller is foreign to me now. I was like trying to hold it and I was like I don't know how this <laughs> thing works anymore. This controller like, makes yeah, me feel what stupid. What happened? Yeah, yeah everybody's first does. reaction ever to that fucking thing. But like when we were kids it just I used cool. to go over Yeah, I used to go over to my buddy's house and it was like no thing. I was like, "Oh yeah, you just hold it like this. You press this button." Yeah. And then now I try and hold it. I'm like, wait, do I hold it in the middle? Like, cause my, my thumbs immediately want, want joysticks. <laughs> so I'm like, what am I supposed to do with you? I don't, I don't I know don't... what to do with my hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh man, that's funny. Um, all right. Moving beyond that. Uh, who want, we want to take a shit on Ubisoft real quick. Uh, uh they were having a, a completely terrible year. Oh, Pretty. um, I can't talk about this stuff. Right, okay. Well, Justin, yeah. would you like to foray with me into how bad Ubisoft's year has been? Because it's been bad. Yes. Lead me in. Tell me about Ubisoft's bad year. Well, uh, first it started with, I think, I think this came out this year. I could be wrong. It could have been ended last year. But uh, remember the freaking, uh, not Rainbow Six Siege. What's the other? What's the oh, other the wait, their other IP, breaking not point. Rainbow Six. No, no Tom Clancy's I, Ghost Recon Breaking Point, not, not Breakpoint, but the, you know, remember that like Battle Royale game that they tried to come out with and it got oh, it got fucking they announced it like a year and a half ago. Huh? Yeah, this yeah. I can talk about. I don't yeah, even remember it. it. Yeah, yeah, they no, announced a Tom out. Clancy's like VR game. Oh, yeah. you're talking about Hyperscape? Hyperscape, because no, the, the, no. the Tom Clancy one uh-huh. hasn't, hasn't come out, they just showed it, gameplay it, and everybody shit on it. It came out and then they and then they pulled it back. From what I understand, I don't remember. It I think it out. came out for like a week and then mm. they pulled it back and then it went dead silent, radio silent. I haven't heard about it since. Either way, whether it came out or not, bomb. Bad, right? Very bad. Um, Hyperscape, gone. Uh, their newest game, which is like Roller Dome, 
nope, that's what I was talking about earlier. It's like that, yes. <laughs> but it is without guns. It's that yeah. weird Skating sport around. where people go. Yeah, they roller skate derby. Circles. Roller derby, there you go. Yeah. We're, roller derby that they didn't hype up at all and has no financial backing. Free to play. Yeah. Um, so that probably won't last long. Yep. And then they came out it came out the other day that Prince of Persia isn't coming out either. It's not officially canceled. <sighs> right? It's not officially canceled. But I got to call people called. Yeah, I got to call yeah. people and be like, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. so sad. To refund the money. I, I I need to look up okay. I did write an article on this. I need it. There was a lot. There was a, there was like a few different things that, and I like cut it off at like three things, but I, there was so many things that went wrong this year Yeah. for Ubisoft. And it's, we're only, how about the fact that they've been years. trying to get bought and no one wants to buy them? Oh, oh yeah. That's okay. Um, oh, Ruby. Rainbow Six Extraction. Yeah. Was so bad that even day and date on Game Pass didn't, re- didn't save it. <laughs> nobody still, liked still, that. Nobody wanted it. Um, let's see, uh, oh, Skull and Bones gameplay that came out that everybody shit on. Yeah, yeah, Didn't everybody look good. was like, yeah, everybody was like, we don't like this. And then Roller Champions, that's what it's that's called. what it's called. Yeah, yeah. And then on top of that, you got Hyperscape. All this is all in six months. Like, yeah, that's a lot of <laughs> bad shit. They do, they do have. I so I was looking up at what the releases are supposed to be this year to see if they have any reprieve. They do have a Mario Rabbids, like I don't know if it's the second one or if it's the DLC. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a sequel. It, yeah, that comes out later this year, right? Um, that was really good. So, I mean, they'll probably take a W there, right? Fine. Everything else looks like a bunch of fucking L's, and I was very surprised. I didn't. I hadn't really dug into this right until I was doing the Prince of Persia, Persia article, and then I was like, "Holy shit, Ubisoft sucks this year!" Like, there's they don't have anything going right. Like, what the fuck happened? Just out there trying to sustain with the uh, battle passes for their various games that people still do play. Yeah, man, it's just it was it's wild. It really is because Ubisoft. I I, I give them credit here is that generally they stick with their stuff long enough that even if it's bad when it comes out. It's eventually good, right? Um, I think the division is a good is a good game for that, right? It wasn't great when it came out, but the end content for the division one, like once all the content was out there, it was a very good game, like a very good MMO. Had a really good like cycle and stuff of getting loot and everything. But like, this is just no bueno, man. Oh, and then I forgot, I forgot, I even I forgot about this doing the research. Uh, Skillet brought it up. Ubisoft Quartz. The fucking NFT nonsense that they were doing. Yeah. That was this year. Yeah. I was, was, Oh, yeah. Uh, that was what they were calling their NFT thing where you could buy the helmet in Breakpoint and supposedly yeah. use it in other oh, things. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. And it's just <laughs> dead. Yeah. Oh, here's yeah. your helmet with the serial number. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just kind of, I don't know. Wacky. But speaking. Speaking of NFTs, I think you read into this a lot more than I did. Yes. Um, oh. The first NFT game on Epic came out. <laughs> just tell us about it, Justin. Howdy, partner. You want a horse that's one in 500, but it's just a slightly different asset flip from the Unreal Store? Oh, my God. $8,000, yeah. bucko. Yeah. Uh. So there's this game. Uh, I think it's called Grit. And it's supposed to be this like multiplayer uh western game i don't even know what the fuck it's supposed to be like the video that they have is just like some dude shooting his gun in an empty room but uh steam does not allow like blockchain or nft based games on their platform so gabe newell said the tech's cool but everything in it is a scam right (laughs) which is fair (laughs) but uh epic always looking for something epic needs everything they can get so epic has signed a deal with uh, these devs to publish Grit on their platform. And uh, the game just looks really generic from what I've seen. Um, they had a like gala for the game, and it was $8,000 to attend. But if you attended, you got a 1 in 500 unique NFT horse to use in-game. Not that you could see what it looked like, because they only had placeholders, because, you know... This is not a scam, 
but yeah the game and seeing this shit it's just like nfts are such a gold rush moment in our history you know people just like jumping on them trying to make a quick buck when you know maybe there's nothing really there yeah, uh, and I, I actually wanted, when you put that in the doc and I read that, I was like, oh, God, that's fucking perfect. Was that was that you? I didn't I wasn't sure if that was you or Kotaku that came up with that, but that, that was, was me. Yeah. That comparison. Yeah. Oh, hey, man, that's a perfect comparison because you're absolutely right. It, it's specifically in the gaming space too. Um, every, a lot of developers are really trying to capitalize on this and all the gamers keep saying no. Please stop. Like, <laughs> stop. Like, yeah. nobody wants this. And the small, minute amount of people that want this don't have enough money to do what you want to do. Speaking of, did you see what the couple's ticket was for that gala or whatever? Mm-hmm. If you if you went as a couple, quote unquote couple, or whatever, you actually saved a couple thousand Hold dollars. On. Hold on. It was it was fourteen thousand instead of being sixteen thousand or whatever. Jesus. But that, why is that, that quote unquote? Uh, well, I mean, because Tim, it, it, we're not a couple, but we could say we're a couple and we're going to it. We're not a couple. You'd be a couple if you went together. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. You know, you, you know what I mean. So I it's just what savings. Yeah, I, yeah, I just I, when I saw this, and honestly, I didn't see Touch this savings until, much. Wow. Yeah, I didn't see this until I was scrolling through Twitter, and I saw some somebody who was like. Oh, one in five hundred. Here's the asset on fucking like Unity or whatever the hell. Right. It is. And I was just like, I my eyes just got really big. I was like, oh my god! Like there's people spending all this money on this shit. Like I just don't understand. I don't. Yeah, care. it's crazy. It's crazy. So uh, another reason not to go to Epic unless you're getting their free games because the free games we don't talk about this super often. <laughs> But Epic's free games lately have been fucking bangers, okay? They put some um, they really had, good stuff on there. They had the entire Bioshock uh, tri- not trilogy. trilogy four. Well, it had all yeah, four. no, it's it's the collection. You can get all of them. It's Is three. It four or three? Oh, it's okay. three. It's Bioshock, right. Bioshock 2, Bioshock Infinite. Mm. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. So I don't know how to math, but yeah, they had all the Bioshock games on there. Uh, I think it was Wolfenstein, The New Order was on there. And then there was Is another- still on there? Yeah, there was a different. Oh, they had Borderlands three recently. Yep. Like that was a big it, one. Like if you want to go, to I think Epic, that's the second time this year they've given away Borderlands. On Epic. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't. I, I as I should. I don't pay attention to the free games probably as much as I should. <laughs> Save myself some money, but yeah, yeah, dude, I find myself missing them sometimes, and then like kicking myself in the butt. Like, man, if I just looked. I just gotta look once a week and see what's on right, there. Right, because it's literally weekly. Yeah, like like it, the it the is. I. It's funny. I I only like got the Epic Store because I bought Mortal Shell through it because it was mm-hmm. only available on Epic at first, and then after that, I've never bought a game. I've only got free games. Yeah, dude. There's a lot and of like, cool I, free stuff on there. I still yeah. have like a decent library on there now too. Like I, I have mm-hmm. two pages of it, and it's all yeah. like Control, Dead by Daylight, Galactic Civilizations Three, Gods Will Fall, Mortal Shell. That's the only one I bought. Loop Hero, Insurmountable, Guild of Dungeoneering, Pathfinder, Kingmaker. Oh yeah, Remnant oh, from yeah, the Ashes. Like there's a bunch of like, like just I have Vampire. Like there's they I forgot I got away Total War Warhammer. A lot too. of good stuff. Yeah, Speaking, I mean, I just, they kind of have to, but, like, yeah, I just want to throw out there real quick, because I haven't done this in a long time. If you get a chance to play a fucking Pathfinder game, play it, because they're, they're phenomenal. They're very good games. If you Correct. like CRPGs or whatever, Pathfinder's your fucking shit. Pathfinder, Path of Exile. I get them confused all the time, but they're both <laughs> bangers. Oh, all right, yeah. like, they're, they're super fucking good. Uh, yeah, yeah, getting those for free is great, so... Yeah. Um, all right, boys, you know what's not over. great? Oh, paying what, seventy dollars for a game on the PC. Oh yeah. well, I agree with you that is not great, but I also think it's the future. Whether we it is, it but like we don't have to like it. And Activision no. is the one who's bringing us there, of course. Shock. Well, that. question, question. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was the new Madden's technically seven seventy dollars when mm-hmm. they first came out? Because I think on PC, were. yeah, I think they were. Did anyone buy it? 
I've never bought Do you remember Madden there game. was a point in time when I was like, please bring Madden to PC? And then they did it, and I was like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> That's because you don't really... Well, you play Madden from time to time. Yeah, now that it's on Game Pass. Like, I've been yeah. playing 22 because it's on Game Pass. Yeah. Speaking of, speaking of that random controversy, I'm, I know we're getting away from this, but did you guys see that the, the Microsoft website mislabeled Madden 23 is coming day and date on Game Pass? And no. like everybody was losing their minds, and then EA came out and went, "No, that's oh, not EA had to be the bad yeah. guy." <laughs> yeah. Oh, can when I? Aren't they the bad guy? What? Very, very quick story time. Um, I made Game Informer delete a tweet. You? What? Yep. What? Because they accidentally tweeted out about uh, Field Sense mode and how it was coming to Madden twenty five, and I was like, I said, "Oh God, am I still here?" Uh yeah you're, yeah, you're here. Okay, my display drivers just went nuts. Okay, um, any hoozy, like both of my monitors went dark, <laughs> so I I I thought I was. So I I I tweeted at them. I was like, fitting that uh this recycled mechanic that was in originally like QB Vision or whatever in 2007, yeah. and you're going this. Recycled version of Madden, Madden 25, which came out in like 2016. Madden 25 came out in 2009. Madden, no, Madden 25. No, there was Madden 09. Madden 25 was Madden 16. There is no Madden 16. No, um, 15. I was, I was living with 25, Ian. 17. No, it was one with, yeah, it was the one with Larry Fitzgerald and uh, Troy Palomalu on the front. I promise you that's not Madden 25. I was living with Ian. This is the only reason why I remember. <laughs> uh, okay, I was wrong, but so are you. It's 2013. Okay. It was Madden 25. Mm. So it was, I guess was I, I had the Troy wrong Palomalo one. It was Troy and, and... No, it had Barry just... Sanders. What's the one with Troy, Troy Palomalu, Palomalu and Barry... That's... Larry Fitzgerald? 11? I think that's 11. It's either 10 it or 11. Weird, I thought it had a weird mm. front, or like front cover that year. It had Barry Sanders. Hmm. Barry Sanders. I don't huh? know. Yep. Justin's like, I don't know who that is, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, I don't know. Who that is. Oh man. The... Anyways, the time oh, is running, long, running long, boys. I think we're at the end. Yeah, it, it is running long. Um, it's I was gonna ask you guys. So we got a little bit far away from this, but yeah, Modern Warfare Two is coming to PC. Um. It will be seventy dollars. It's coming directly to Steam. It hasn't been on Steam for a while. It's been on the Activision launcher. But I will be honest. I think once Xbox takes over Activision Blizzard, as long as that goes through, uh, I have a feeling that that launcher is going to just fucking disappear after a while. It should. After yeah, about a year, it, I think it's just going to go away, and they're just going to put, put everything, everything on the Game Pass launcher. Well, well, okay. Don't get me started on the Game Pass launcher. It's fucking garbage. I hate it. That's Very where they're going to put it, though. It's so bad. They need like that's one of the few things they really really need to pay attention to is because that launcher is awful. But anyways, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if right. seventy dollars is going to be the new norm. Uh, hopefully not. But you know, price increases do happen. Yeah, PC I will is say not I, immune. Yeah, it's not. But um, I think uh. I think that uh, you'll only see it from like AAA studios. I, I would fucking what, hope so. Yeah, I think that's what's what it's going to be. Yeah, ask me to pay $70 for an indie game. Nah. Nah. Yeah, so. Like, indie games deserve love. Don't get me wrong. They do. But like, no, no game should be $70. It should not. No, you're right. Diablo 3 is broken, by the way. Have you been trying to get it to work this whole time? For like the last 10 minutes, yeah. Just, just play some more Diablo Immortal. It works. <laughs> At least that one runs. I wonder why all of a sudden Diablo Immortal is available and Diablo 3 <laughs> is broken. Hmm. Hmm. Closing Probably thoughts. a coincidence. But, Closing um... thoughts? Hmm. Closing thoughts. Uh... There's a murder mystery in Sea of Thieves that's still ongoing. And the longer it goes on, 
the more it seems like just a shitty social media campaign where we have to retweet Twitter shit, and that's kind of sad. Yeah, that is sad. Is Cody's camera broken for you? No, but no, yours like was. reset for a second. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I didn't break it. Yay. Okay. <laughs> um, Tim, do you have a closing thought? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like no. I play more games. No. Yeah. Don't be uh, me. Play more my, games. My closing thought is I had the correct year for Madden and the correct cover, but the wrong title. It was Madden Ooh. NFL Ten. <laughs> I said that. I said yeah. I, oh, I don't. I missed funny. it because I, I was very confused. I was. I, I was like, I swear to God, it's Madden. I think I said that was ten. I said that was either ten or eleven. Hmm. Yeah, I started googling it because I was upset at myself. Like, How did I get that messed up? Unbelievable. Anyways, because it's the same uh, game also, every year for the last yeah. 15 years. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, my actual closing thought is uh, if you like visual no- novels, Corpse Factory, I've been playing it on the scene deck at night because it's basically like reading a manga with voice acting, though. And um, very cool premise. Very good voice acting. I have made zero decisions in two hour, two to three hours of gameplay. Oh, so you're literally it's like watching a movie is really what it's like. You can even set the fucking subtitles to auto, right? And I did that so long that the Steam Deck like went into sleep mode. Oh, because you're not you pressing anything. To, yeah, you're not pressing anything, so <laughs> it'll, it'll go in sleep mode on its own. And it, it took like it took like thirty minutes, but yeah, it still it still did it. Corpse Factory though, it's a decent it, like it's a cool story, um, and yeah, and it's not like super, like anime waifus. Oh my god, right? You know what I mean? like, not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have another thought, Tim. Is it still Gamescom in your room there? Mm-hmm. You got Gamescom on your thing? The light has been burned out on that thing forever, <laughs> and I just haven't bothered to change it since. Yeah. Oh, it's stuck in time. <laughs> it's been a very long time since that's been updated. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Alrighty, boys. I think that's it for this week. Yes, that is it. So, uh, more content coming to everybody soon. As we figure our lives out. Yes. Our lives in so, pixels. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, anyways, I've been Cody. I've been Justin. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do closing. Closing I've, introductions. I still am, Tim. That, that didn't stop. <laughs> you mean you've been like you're not anymore? I have been Cody, but now no longer. <laughs> Nope, what I'm gonna fuck? go to work. I'm gonna go to work, and they're gonna call me Sergeant Latham. They don't call me Cody there. I so. mean, that's fair. But... <laughs> or, or they're gonna, or I'm gonna leave the room, and I'm gonna hear, "Dad, I'm no longer Cody. I'm Dad." <laughs> Anyways, all right, this is too long. We'll see you guys next week on Wednesday at ten o'clock. That's our new time. That's we right. We love you. So long. Bye.